Hello from the Department of Aeronautics at Imperial College London. I, Ajit Panesa, your admissions tutor, along with Monica and Tulasi, would like to warmly welcome you. We are really excited to tell you more about our program and what reading aeronautics at Imperial means for you. Imperial College was founded in 1907 and the beginnings of our department date back to as early as 1919. So in 2019, we celebrated our centenary. This is Imperial College in 1957. On the left is the Roderick Hill building, which hosted Aero for several decades. And on the right is an aerial footage of the college itself. What I love about these images is the marriage between preservation and transformation. Let me give you a glimpse of our timeline. Our very first wind tunnel was hosted in 1925. In 1957, we moved to the Roderick Hill building, the one you saw in the last slide. 1983, we established the UK's first Centre for Composite Materials and a couple of years later, we opened the largest university wind tunnel facility. The last decade has been a period of significant growth for us and I'll talk about this a bit later. We are proud to have served the needs of aero enthusiasts and curious minds alike for over a century now and hope to continue doing so for centuries to come. On top of offering one of the best educational experience, the City of London adds a colourful cultural dimension to our students' lives. From great museums, beautiful parks, lovely places to visit, to trying new adventures. By the way, our department is situated right in front of the college and this is where you'll do your labs and lectures. Our degree is first and foremost an engineering degree with significant breadth, blurring the lines between an aerospace and aeronautics program. As we cover aspects of spacecraft engineering, I'll mention more about this later. Some of the core topics covered in this course are listed here. You'll need to know aerodynamics to understand how the flow of air over wings and fuselage imparts forces upon them. You'll need structural dynamics to understand how the aircraft responds to these loads. Control engineering lets us describe how any movable control surfaces can be used to maneuver the aircraft. Material science helps us create lightweight parts and knowledge of propulsion enables in the design of efficient engines for the perfect takeoff. On the right, you will find the variations of our core and most common four-year M Engine Aeronautical Engineering program. You all start your journey with the core H401 program and everyone gets the same first couple of years experience. One can specialize in aeronautical engineering with spacecraft engineering, H415, by taking specially tailored space-themed modules. Two other exciting options are to spend either a year abroad or a year in industry. For the year abroad, you spend a year studying at one of our partner institutions in France, Germany, Singapore, or the US. Alternatively, students who want to gain practical work experience during their degree can organize to spend a year at a aerospace-related company. In all cases, the decision of transferring is taken during the degree and is dependent upon how well you have performed in your studies to date. To give you a little bit more detail about the structure of our course, this is a list of all the current modules that our students can take. 
I don't expect you to be able to read all of this and much more detailed information is available on the department's website. But the point to emphasize again is the breadth of the course. From fundamental modules in core mathematics and mechanics to aerodynamics, propulsion, materials and structures, all the way to management and humanities. The color coding indicates options which are available in different years of the course and you can see that each subject is built upon from the year to year. You have the opportunity to specialize in the area of aero that you find most rewarding. Two really rewarding aspects of the program are the third year group design project and the final year individual research project both of which provide you with a platform to put your learnings into practice and to continually learn from feedback. In the first and second years of our degree, all students take the same core modules, labs and coursework. The focus is on strengthening core disciplines such as mathematics and mechanics while introducing new subjects such as structures, aerodynamics, propulsion, materials, and computing. In the third year, the course becomes more advanced with topics such as computational fluid dynamics, structural dynamics, control systems engineering, and aerospace vehicle design. You also take part in more advanced lab exercises using some of our state-of-the-art facilities, such as the supersonic wind tunnel pictured here, and the newly built flight arena for micro air vehicle testing. A major component of the third year is the group design exercise, where students in groups of 20 to 30 undertake a five week design project, which is entirely student led and gives our students a great experience of an extended teamwork exercise and helps to develop their soft skills while allowing them to apply the technical knowledge they have acquired so far. For example, some group propose novel aerospace vehicles such as solar powered or battery powered aircraft or assessing the feasibility of a manned mission to Mars. In the five weeks, they are able to go through an entire first design phase from the sizing of an aircraft, the wing design, structural design, material selection, engine selection, and placement, as well as constraint the economic case for the design they produce. Other groups are more experimental. For example, in the previous years, designing autonomous control of quadcopters to hover over water and collect sample for environmental inspection. You can find more details on this in our e-brochure. Moving on to the fourth year, this gives a further opportunity to specialize taking fundamental modules in mathematics and high performance computing, studying turbulent fluid flow and advanced manufacturing methods. However, the major component of the fourth year is an extended research project that runs pretty much the entire year. This is where students get to work directly with an academic member of staff on one of their current research projects and really gives an exciting opportunity to pursue an open research question that really fascinates you. Our course is accredited by both the Royal Aeronautical Society and the Institute of Mechanical Engineers, highlighting the fact that our degree is general enough to open doors for you in engineering related careers. What our degree is giving you is a great breadth of experience which can be applied to a wide range of disciplines such as Formula One, wind energy, software engineering, and even banking and consultancy. Now, because of the strong student involvement 
in our research in the fourth year, I want to tell you a little bit about the research we do in the department. Roughly speaking, and reflecting the structure of our undergraduate course, research in the department falls into three categories. First, fluid mechanics. Second, aerospace materials and structures. And third, computational methods and mathematical modeling. I'll now say a little bit about each of these. Fluid mechanics. This is the study of a wide range of flows, the flow of air, the flow of water, which have obvious aerospace application, but also the flow of blood, as some of us work in the biological applications. Experimental techniques to measure fluid flow, such as the PIV, in which an airflow is seeded with tiny oil droplets, which are lit up by a laser and photographed at thousands of times per second to record the fluid velocities are actively used and researched in the department and also form part of a third year lab exercise. Next, structures. Research into aerospace materials and structures considers the study of composite materials but also research into how they fracture and break and how to monitor whether this has happened. One key difficulty in making aircraft out of next generation composite materials is that if they are subject to an impact, for example, someone dropping a hammer on the wing, the damage is beneath the surface and may not be obvious to the naked eye. For this reason, academics in the department are developing remote sensing techniques known as structural health monitoring. There is also increasing efforts within the department for the use of micro air vehicles and novel manufacturing such as additive manufacturing to realize next generation designs. Finally, a lot of us work on computational methods for both simulation and analysis of fluid and structural systems. For this reason, our research looks to push the boundaries of what is possible computationally and we even have high performance computing facilities at Imperial to help with this direction of research. To wrap things up, you might be wondering what a typical student in aeronautics looks like. Bottom line, one need not be passionate about aeroplanes and rockets. A lot of our students are, but what should be clear is that our subjects impacts upon recyclable materials, biological fluid flows, and impact analysis. We want students who are academically excellent at mathematics and physics, who have the potential to excel in one of these areas, and it may only be over the course of the degree that you find an area that fascinates you the most. However, the breadth of our degree gives you a great chance to find your true area of expertise. We are confident that each and every one of you has a bright future ahead of you and we would like to wish you all the very best.